Today, today we're going to uh, finish up uh, yesterday's lecture, uh, which we ran out of time on. Uh, this is physical pendulum, and you guys all saw the demo. Uh, we had a meter stick and a pendulum bob set up, and we swung them back and forth, um, and, and just kind of see if they were both a meter long, we saw that the, the meter stick went quicker than the, the uh, pendulum bob, and the reason for that we've decided is that because the mass on the pendulum bob is all concentrated at the end, so it had a higher moment of inertia uh, uh, for the given amount of mass. All right, okay, um, and also you guys know from yesterday and from last year, uh, what's the period of a pendulum? 2 pi, two pi root, L root, L root L over G, but that's a simple pendulum, right? Um, A very interesting result. It's just a complete fluke of the numbers and Earth's gravity. But it turns out if you have a one meter long pendulum, the period comes out to be almost exactly two seconds. It's, yeah, that has nothing to do with anything. It's just, it, and it only works on Earth. If you went to the moon, you'd get a totally different number. Right, or some other planet, but <coughs> two seconds. Which means if you had, I don't know, a half meter long pendulum, what would the period be? It would actually be square root of two. Right? If you had a 25 centimeter pendulum, what would the period be? Five. Square root of square root two. One second. Could be a quarter of the length, right? Quarter of the length would be half the period. If you went to four times the length, what would the period be? A four meter pendulum. It'd be four seconds. It'd be double. All right. So anyway, um, you can play around with those numbers all you want. But what I really want to talk about is the physical pendulum. A physical pendulum is a pendulum that is a rigid body rotating rather than just a particle. All right, so here we go. Uh, we can pretend uh, that for a gravitational torque, all of the force acts where? So say you have a stick. Right? I can figure out where the center of mass is of this stick. And we can pretend that all the force acts at that center of mass point. Right? So... If you had a meter stick, where would all the force act? In the middle. At the 50 centimeter point, right? Okay, so the gravitational torque, like we did from yesterday, torque equals what? I alpha. Torque equals I alpha, right? But the torque due to gravity would be, mg would be the force. At what distance does it act? L over, two. L over 2, or 50 centimeters, and, sine theta. And, the, and sine theta, right? So the torque would be mg L over 2 times sine theta, but if you have a small angle, what happens to sine theta? theta. It's, theta. it's theta, right? Did everybody understand that from yesterday? That you, why and when you can do that? Zohar, did you get that yesterday? Yeah. Sine theta is equal to theta? Okay, cool. All right, so for small angles, torque would therefore be equal to negative mg over L mg L over 2 times theta. All right. And I just did a little manipulation of the equation from yesterday. That means alpha equals net torque over I, which means alpha is the second derivative of theta. Torque over I. mg L over 2 times theta divided by I, right? Okay, what's I for a stick? Uh, one, third. one third ML squared. But we're going to pretend for a second that we didn't know what I was and do the problem and keep I in it. All right, what's omega? Yeah, omega, this right here is omega squared. That means omega is the square root of that. So square root of MGL over 2I. And if you plug in one-third ml squared for i, 
guess what you get? Two-thirds L over G, just like everybody who looked ahead said. All right. So how does that compare to a simple pendulum? What's a simple pendulum look like? Square root of L over G. L over G. This is square root of two-thirds L over G. So it's root 2 over it's, 3. It's, well, consider the L. It's L versus two-thirds L, which is why in order to have the same period, the simple pendulum has to be two-thirds L. Does that make sense? All right. And if you wanted to figure out what the actual values of period were, it would be root two-thirds, a factor of root two-thirds difference, which is kind of a weird number. I don't even know what that is. Root 2 divided by root 3. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, for a meter stick, that means uh, the period of a meter stick, if you plug in all the numbers, 1 meter, plug in 9.8 for gravity, and you get a period of a meter stick is 1.6 seconds instead of 2 seconds. Sound good? All right. All right. So I have a list of stuff to try. Um, we're actually not going to do any of that because I want you guys to get an opportunity to try Mechazilla and try to get it done by the end of the day. So go to work.